Good afternoon. This is Pastor Steve Ensley from Redeemer Lutheran Church in, in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, we're glad that you're with us here today for midweek devotions on this on this cool Wednesday. We're looking forward to the to the start of spring here. We're getting tired of this cold weather and uh, we had food pantry today and our clients were outside in, in the cold weather, so that's not a good situation. So we're looking forward to some more moderate weather. We're glad you're with us here today and I invite you to join me as we begin our midweek devotion with prayer. We thank you, Lord, that you have called us to be your people. Help us to know the greatness of our calling so that we, having one spirit of faith and love, may live in the world as a new and holy generation. May your eternal and righteous will always be before our eyes so that in soberness and vigilance, we might await your coming and witness to your promises until your kingdom comes. Bless the poor, the hungry, the weeping, and the persecuted. Mercifully hear the prayers of your people when they call upon you. And give us faith to believe your kingdom belongs to the humble of heart. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit are one God, world without end. Amen. The words I'd like to share with you today are from the 17th chapter of Jeremiah, three verses beginning at verse 5. This is what the Lord says. Cursed is the one who trusts in man, who depends on flesh for his strength, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. He will be like a bush in the wastelands. He will not see prosperity when it comes. He will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots into the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Here ends the reading. Sometimes when we're out driving around this great and very country of ours, we see the landscape all brown and dry. Maybe we're driving through a desert, an area, an arid area, or, or maybe we're driving through farmland, but it's been after the harvest and everything is kind of brown and bleak and dead. But then on the horizon, we see, we see a row of trees and it doesn't take us long to figure out what that means. It means there's a river there nearby, although we can't see it yet. The trees don't care that there hasn't been rain for months. They're green and they're growing and they're taller than anything else around. See, the river is their invisible means of support. Well, the Lord is kind of like that for us Christians. There are times in our lives, way too many times, when our lives are dry and brown. Sometimes we're dealing with health problems. Maybe we're dealing with the death of a loved one. Sometimes it might be difficulties like joblessness or losing our home. Sometimes it's those drab gray times that seem to just come for no reason at all. Times when we don't feel God's presence in our lives and maybe we don't feel much of anything else either. Little joy, little energy. Just a day that means putting one foot in front of the other. Doing what we have to do until tomorrow. 
until a new day comes and we can start all over again. I don't think any of us like those times, although I believe we all have them. And what support do we have when those times come into our lives? What support do we have when we come upon hard times? Just this. The Lord is our strength. And the Lord is our Savior. He's the one who was born into this world to save us. He's the one who came to live and die and, and rise again and make us his own. He's called us and baptized us and given us faith in him. And we live because of him, whether we're feeling it or whether we're not. We live off of him, to use a metaphor, in the same way that a tree lives off the water that runs by it in a river. Its roots run deep and deep underground where no one can see it. It receives its sustenance. Not even the tree can see it. That connection is invisible, but the result is not, because that tree stands tall. That steep tree is green and full, even in the deepest of droughts. Well, Jesus is our support, even if we're not feeling it, because I doubt that trees feel the water in their roots all the time either, but we are connected to him, to our Lord, and he's connected to us, and, and his life flows through us. Because Jesus is our strength. Because Jesus is our life. And he's promised that he will see us through it. Each day. Day in. And day out. Until he calls us to his side. And that will be a glorious day. We pray. Lord, help us to remember and rely upon you because you are our life and you are our strength. Amen. The song I've chosen for today, I think it will be familiar to many of you, is called Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all
on the everlasting arms. Our psalm today is Psalm 1, where we hear that those who God receives and those who God favors with salvation are characterized by righteousness. The psalmist writes, Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord. And they meditate on God's teaching day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff, which the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of, righteous, of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall be destroyed. Here ends the psalm. Would you join me in Luther's morning prayer? I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. We continue with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now, my friends, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you always. Amen. Thanks for being with us today, for joining us for our this midweek devotion. And my prayer is that the Lord would continue to bless your day and that you would always remember that we draw our strength and we draw our life from our dear Lord Jesus Christ. I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday, be it here in the sanctuary or online right here. And may God bless your day. Good day.